What? what? <laughs> you can see the beautiful luster. At the top of this mountain, 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 mountain. Well, here we are. Check that out. All this rain has brought an awesome rainbow. That means only one thing. We're gonna find some awesome garnets. Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Today we're in Nevada at Garnet Hill. We're gonna be finding some garnets today. Let's go check it out. At this location, you can drive just about anything up to this mountain. It's a beautiful view. Check it out. You can see the mining operation way out back. Across the way, you can see the huge mining operation taking place for this copper, which actually started this town up back in the late 1800s. Ely, located in Nevada, is the place of Garnet Hill, where we'll be digging today. What an epic location there's garnets all over this location has lots of amenities they've even got a bathroom here what you don't see that at every dig location and it's actually a pretty good thing here look at this it's pretty big oh dude what are you doing dude lock the door yeah. bro we've got several picnic tables that you can come out and have an awesome time and i mean look at this scenery it's just Gorgeous. I think it's time to go dig. So today, we're gonna use some of my favorite S-Wing tools. May or may not need a geopic, I'm not sure, but we're probably going to need some safety glasses. And since we're gonna be cracking open these rocks to find these garnets, you probably wanna have a hammer. So parking's just right here. You just wanna come on over and follow the trail. A little bit of information here about Garnet Hill. And they've got some really cool setups. I'll tell you what, this is one of the most cool rock counting sites I've ever been to. They really have made some nice accommodations. We've never been here before, so we're just gonna take a random path and see what we can find. All right, so I believe I found the Garnet. Check it out, I haven't touched it yet. See that right there? There it is right there, you guys. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's definitely... Oh, oh yeah, that yeah. is a garnet. For sure. Oh, wow. Look at that. Here's that one cleaned up. And a whole handful of super nice large garnets we found throughout the trip. And check this out. As you flip them over, you'll see the contact point where they were connected to the matrix, but then fell off. So normally when you come out to this location, I wouldn't recommend just looking all over the surface exactly like we're doing, but because of the hard rain we had, all of these little fresh holes, that's where we just found that one, is probably gonna be a good spot to look. This small hole was previously dug and I looked down and there's a garnet right here. Because of the rain, whoever dug this hole didn't see the garnet and then it rained and look right there. See it, you guys? There it is. I'll tell you what, these garnets, they're small, but they have super luster. Oh, those? Yeah. Look at these, though. <laughs> I found these for you, Dylan, right here. Look. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Those, look, <laughs> there they are. What do you think? I don't want those. You don't want them? Uh-uh. Look, those were made specially by, like, a, a, a rabbit or something. You can see this water runoff here. And I started at the bottom of this and I'm working my way up and you'll see why I would highly suggest checking these out. Cause look right there, guys. There's the garnet. Ooh, this one, I want to get this cleaned up. It may be on Matrix or something. Let's check it out. Here's that one and our best finds of garnets on Matrix. What that means is you have a host rock with the garnet perched right on top. We found these throughout the few days we were there. What a spectacular view. 
I'm still working this runoff. I found a couple right there and I'm just right here, guys. Look, there it is. You can see it just cradled in there and it's got a little bit of matrix. It looks like, let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Oh, beautiful. You can see the red color in that one. Nice. Oh, what Dylan's, I just heard him. I don't see him, but I heard him. Oh, let's see. He's saying, he's making a claim here. What we did, I, I told him, I said, go about 30, 40 foot down the runoff, walk up the runoff. But he Actually, said, 10 seconds and I already found one. Let's see, where that? Let's see. Can you see it? Oh boy, that's <laughs> the biggest one of the day, uh, dude. You ready so for the pool? So far, yeah. All right. Let's see this pool. Ooh, it's oh, kind of flat, but that's cool. Look at that face. Oh man, that'd be awesome cleaned up. Let's see it. Yeah, up. yeah that's cool. It's kind of that's kind of got flattened, but you can see the beautiful color of red, deep red. Nice, sweet. Around 32 to 40 million years ago. Garnet Hill was an active volcano site. Massive amounts of rhyolite-rich magma erupted all over the surface, creating a perfect environment for these garnets to grow in these pockets lined with small druzy quartz crystals. All right, guys, we got friends hanging out today too, and look at the huge garnet just found. Wow, look at that. So they are here. All right, you guys, it's Heather's fault that I'm out here. <laughs> she showed me a piece with this awesome garnet, and I was like, no way, you found that at Garnet Hill? So we had to come out and look at this. Check that out. Look at that. that this is the biggest one I've found yet. Maybe if it's not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at Sweet. that. Sweet. Nice. That's a big, big one. Yeah. Here it is up close. Check that beauty out. The largest garnet found with quality. What? Beautiful scenery, especially when you see a garnet like this. Look at that. You can see the red color. The sun is bouncing those colors right off of that. Yeah. I'll tell you what, these rain runoffs are epic. You really just want to take your time in these runoffs. And I'll tell you what, if you do and you get down really low, you'll find them left and right. Look at that. Two of them back to back. What? All right, this must be a pretty good spot because look at this. I haven't touched these. The rain has washed them perfectly, almost perfectly clean there's two almost touching look at this wow super nice pieces all right then popped up on another one here look at that you can see it right there in the ground it's always kind of fun flipping these over because you never know oh ooh, like i say there you go that's why they're fun to flip because you don't know what you're gonna get. Look at that, nice. I've been chasing these water runoffs all morning and I've walked down maybe a half a mile down the hillside of this mountain and I'm just not seeing any more garnets really at all. And you'll notice the rocks have gotten a lot smaller. So I think, you know, you wanna come here and stay in the region where you're gonna see a lot more bigger rock and uh, probably gonna have a lot more chances of finding the garnets well you guys the runoffs have pretty much stopped so i decided to come on the side of the mountain and i'm finding them here too and look at this my first true real matrix piece is a tiny garnet it's on there but really cool the way it's on the matrix guys i'm starting to find some matrix pieces in this spot look at this where'd it go check that out it's small the sun's not out, but this has really red color. Big face. So Marianne just found this huge one. Look at that. That is a big garnet. <laughs> and we just found a good spot, I think, you guys, around this tree here. Like, look at this. Finding them left and right. So, let's keep going. 
Where's it at? I want to see right, here it. Here we go. Here we go. I almost thought that what you're about to see was this like moss looking stuff, but I was like, no, nah, that's sparkle. Look at that. What? Let's pull it out. Oh, it's a bigger piece than I thought too. That is some nice little garnets. Look, you can barely see it, but I think it's going to be a good flip. All right, let's see it here. Oh, look at that face. Oh, let's see. Ooh. Pretty good. Pretty nice garnet. Dog garnet. That's a good one. <laughs> what? Come on. Is it a good one? You want to look at it? This is probably the best one I've found. So nah. Look, <laughs> no way. Look at this. How it's sitting under the rock. <laughs> oh my goodness. It almost like, it did kind of take my breath away. Hey, flip that rock back. That big one. So we just had that rain. Look at that. Hold that one. Golly. That is crazy. Look at this. It's on a huge matrix, but look at that garnet. Here it is. A huge piece up close. What a beautiful, huge garnet. Don't know if I'll leave it natural or maybe cut it down. It's always nice. There's so many areas to dig at this location and we've seen at least seven or eight huge piles of rock just like this, that you can take these rocks and smash them down and find garnets right in the center. Let's give it a shot. So these are the ones you wanna break up. These with the vugs have the potential to have garnets in them you know, you want to wear your safety glasses, so we'll put those on, and then you want to break these things. All right. So you can see it broke that open. No garnets, but you're probably not going to get one. Look, there's a small one. You're not going to get one the first time every time. So you just want to come out and sit out here and just kind of break these down. Look, there's a tiny one. We'll continue. Yep, and look at that. You can see little bitty garnets, but we're not finding the big one yet. <laughs> oh, you got one? Dude. Let's see it. Let's see it. This is the best that I've busted out all day long. I've been busting for like 20, 30 minutes. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. See, it's a single on matrix. Ooh, dude, yeah. is that what? Oh, there's... Dude, no. dude, no way. Dude, no. there's another one on there. No. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. That is so awesome. Look, I, I got to get this one cleaned up right now. Dylan just found the best piece of the day so far. In my opinion. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you can see the beautiful luster on these garnets. I mean, that's outstanding. This is actually why that I came to this location. I mean, they're not huge, but I don't know any spot in America that you can go dig for garnets for free and find them like that. And that was just right on the surface. Crazy. But that's not normal either because probably not too normal to rain like it did here, but it did. We're gonna go find a few more. If you look close, you can see these vugs called lith... If you look closely, you'll see these vugs called lithophytica. <laughs> you'll see... If you, look, if you look closely, you'll see these vugs. They're actually called lithophysophysia. <laughs> lithophysophysia. It's actually called lithophysia. No, lithophysia. Lithophysia. Lithosophosia. <laughs> <laughs> These vugs are also known as lithosopha. <laughs> oh, check out this matrix piece. This piece was right on the surface. And it's really cool how you can see it. It's like embedded down in a vug. I mean, that is awesome. Dylan's up there finding them left and right. I mean, this stuff is epic. I mean, if there's ever a rain, you guys need oh, you to come out here. You got one? Yeah. 
Oh, All right, I just got the camera call. He just said, ooh, you got to get this one on camera. Uh, can you see it? No! <laughs> yeah, you see how clean it is? Look, because of the rain. Come on. Come on. Move these out of the way. No, look at that luster. That's because that rain just washed it right off. Look oh, look, it's got a heart That's on it. That's what I was about to say. Look, it's like a heart, dude. Oh, my goodness. Look. Pick it, pull it out. Let's see what, what the other side. If it's on the Matrix. Yeah, a little bit. little on Matrix. A little bit of... Oh. Let me see. <laughs> it is really a heart. Oh, that's a really... I don't think I've ever seen one like that. It's almost like two grew together. It's like yeah. a twin, and it went to a heart. Oh, man. <laughs> well, look at that. I guess the gardens really do love me. Or it means you're going to find a girl soon, a oh, girlfriend. You guys, no. you guys, inbox oh, him. Shoot up his no. inbox. <laughs> He's single. The nephew's single. We had a great time for the rest of the trip. It was so much fun coming out to Garnet Hill. But you guys, what? Oh. Check this out. No you're not going to believe what happens here and what got into my boot. Using this UV light, these scorpions, yeah, a scorpion, actually will glow or fluoresce. Look at that, what? I definitely took this thing down the street and let him go. Check it out. You can see the full view once we let him out. What do you think, Dylan? So you can see it here as we let it out. Now here's the thing. What scientists do know is that something in the scorpion's exoskeletons caused them to glow. This cuticle has a thin section called the hyaline layer. The hyaline layer is what reacts to ultraviolet light, such as black light or natural moonlight even. What? Be sure to go to Facebook and check out the Crystal Clubhouse we do all kinds of private club events.